Hey everybody, what is going on? Sorry for the audio. I'm recording on my phone. I have my GoPro, my batteries, uh, this this juice box. Look, check this out. This is called Juice Box. Your your it has a USB that attaches to your GoPro USB, and I'm loving this thing. This thing is is pretty awesome. It actually lasts a very long time. Very surprisingly, it lasts so long. Uh, everything that I read online said it should hold up for about um about four hours and i've never had it die on me yet and i've probably had it running probably like seven eight hours and i haven't died on me haven't had it die on me yet and i will record or use the power on my gopro and record with, with my hero 5 but uh recording 1080p but for seven eight hours that's a lot of a lot of battery a lot of juice if you're looking at something that's portable and no i'm not sponsored by them this is not infomercial i just um, thought about it when i had it in my hand but what this simply does is that it charges your gopro if you have a phone it's a usb connect and it will charge your phone or whatever device you have but it charges my gopro so it doesn't my gopro doesn't use its battery it uses that as a battery and it works great and if i did have this die then it'll start using my gopro battery anyway i have no idea why i even started down that road talking about it but hey we are getting ready to go out i'm getting ready to hit the water i'm getting all my stuff together doing some last minute things and uh getting ready to hit the water i got invited to uh come out on a patreon's boat um Little pre flounder run, you know, we're kind of, we're close to the flounder. We're starting to see big, bigger stuff start moving down, bigger numbers, bigger fish. So, um, hopefully we'll see a few of those uh, larger flounders, some of those slot. It's been kind of, that we, we're a little ahead of the curve uh, fishing, that fairy channel fishing, that flounder channel is what I like to call it a lot. So, we're going to be on a boat. And I'll be fishing with the Get Her Done rig. I'll also probably be fishing with Tandem Gope and uh, Single Head Jig Head uh, Gope as well. So thanks for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. And uh, um, yeah, if you want to join Patreon, join. I mean, we do open invites. I do fishing reports. This is probably already on there from a fishing report. Uh, I try to post a fishing report the day of or if not the next day. I try to post a weekly fishing forecast, kind of let everybody know kind of what I'm thinking when I'm looking at the weather and the tide and what's running and what conditions uh, may be out there or what simply what the information I'm getting back from other people, what they're seeing and what they're catching on the water as well. But hey, I've talked way too much by now, so let's get fishing. go there you go uh, just the one you caught yesterday <laughs> you've been tagging them yeah. <laughs> there you go Sad, but true. what is it what is it uh, uh oh pulling some drag running at the boat there you go that's a nice one that's a keeper Here's the keeper. Slot, baby. There you go. There you go. Right. I was trying to set my rod down so I grabbed the net, but. Hit, hit the right. That's what I'm talking about. That was a good one. Little guy. Said he's coming a little bit, but he was right. He was right on that edge. Oh, yeah. I didn't, yeah, he was right on the edge, so I wasn't too sure. If it was a little flatty. Look at this guy. He got all kind of ugly looking spots on him. 
We're gonna get you off, buddy. But look at that hook set, right in the mouth. There we go. <laughs> I know it hurts. It hurts me more than it hurts you. <laughs> Not really. I feel no pain. Get it in the boat. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a keep. <laughs> that's that's half an inch more than you need. What's your, what was your secret weapon, John? Yeah, no worries. <laughs> Gope. Go for it. Gope. That's a secret. That's a secret yeah, lure right there, a right? Secret lure. Not a lot of people heard about that. I haven't heard about that. Don't don't. Can't tell everybody. So we're just telling just one person. It's like real sticky over here. It's like a lot of soft mud. It's all divots. Yeah. Does it make you think you're on a bite? A bite? No, that's a bite. No, that's not a bite. Okay, that's a bite. No, that's not a bite. Did you feel that one? Did that one hit you? At first, I didn't feel it at all. Yeah. I, Look at that tail. <laughs> oh, yeah. Somebody's yeah, eating <sighs> There you go. There's a flatty. Right in front of the boat. Right in front of the boat. Nice. There we go. You caught me a flounder. You got you one? Oh, you got a crab. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> ah! Oh, shit. <laughs> I tried to get him in the boat. There we go. Right there. Right next to the boat. Right. Little, one. Little guy. Babies having babies. Ouch. Are you done? Yeah, it's a it's a little boy. <laughs> it's a little boy. Are you done? He's a boy. Let's not hook ourselves with the other hook. Oh! 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 Quick hook! Quick hook release. Boat, it it's in the boat. <laughs> Come on, baby. You're gonna splash me and get me all wet. Get out of that water. You're too little. There's a baby. Captain Cody Dunn came out to the water with Billy Ray of Saltwater Soul and they haven't been able to get any fish. We've kind of been sharing intel and where we were catching but we primarily just been catching small undersized flounder. They were around the corner so we decided that we would pull up and fish beside them and see if I could possibly outfish Captain Cody with a Getter Dunn rig. Uh oh. Uh oh. Am I recording? I'm recording. We're running. We're running. <clears throat> hey, Cody. Cody. That's for you. That's for you, baby. That's for Cody. 18. <clears throat> That's for Cody. That's for Captain Cody Nunn right there. <laughs> what did I say too? I told you, did I? I say, hey, I'm gonna see if I can catch right here, catch. Hey, Cody, Cody, I called it too. I said, let me start out right here. I'm gonna cast with get one off this post. He's little, but it's okay. He's little. Yeah, under 13. Now the funny thing is Captain Cody saw where I caught that flounder at so he tries to pot lick me cast right where I just pulled that flounder out 
and he got hung up. Look, look at Cody Pot. Look, look, Cody, are you hung up after pot licking where I just cast? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> are you hung up, Cody? Cody. Cody. <laughs> That's all there is. I just like rubbing it in. That's all. I don't get to do it often. Can you have fishing on a good gunner? Yeah. Hey, Steve mentioned that I was out fishing you want to get her done rig. Well, that is it. I had a great day out there on the water with John and Steve. Steve, thank you for inviting me on the boat. And at the end of the trip, it was just a little bit of fun, you know, messing with Captain Cody, teasing Captain Cody a little bit. Captain Cody is a very talented angler. And as for myself, on my best days, I'm average. Let's be honest. I, I'm not that great of a fisherman. I'm just on the water a lot. I have good people around me. I'm on the water. I, uh, I learn a lot by doing and not doing and learning others and, and listening to others. And I'm a student of the game. So I, I try to pass that knowledge on through my videos and for those people that aren't able to be on the water like during the week or maybe on some key points when when they would rather be on the water instead of being at work I, I try to entertain you just a little bit and give you first person's perspective of what's going on out there and hopefully get those uh, salt water so juices going and want want to get you or have you want to get back out there on the water entertain maybe teach maybe just laugh <laughs> but we had a good time I, I really i really had a good time thank you again steve for having me out on your boat um you know steve is a patron if you want to join patreon then join today this fishing report was already up this this fishing video happened like four days ago to me editing um i spend two to three days on the water a week i try to uh, carve out some time for family try to carve out some time for football and then i have to edit so like today i'm spending the day editing a video that's four days old uh, i was on the water yesterday i'll be on the water for the next three days so i'm not too sure when i'm gonna have time to edit and this is a pre pre flounder run you know we're seeing flounder go through by little numbers but we just had a cold front yesterday uh, last night overnight and we should see those numbers pick up we should see the flounder size pick up we just really start seeing that so by the time you get this footage don't think oh my gosh there's still small flounder out there because that might not be the case because it changes day by day it changes hour by hour uh sometimes with these runs so that just kind of lets you know what it uh i was out on the 21st so this day took this trip took place on the 21st to kind of give you an idea i went out yesterday and again, I just small. I saw some undersized stuff, and it's a small flounder. Just went out for just a quick, quick trip. Don't forget, if you do like this video, if you do like this content, you do like what's going on here. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if you want to support the channel further, or even help your learning experience, your learning curve, get behind the scenes footage, fishing report, fishing forecast, join Patreon today. And I hope that you all get out there very soon and capitalize on the flounder run or just capitalize on fishing. Have a good time. Come out, soak some bait, whatever makes you happy. Hope you get out there very soon. And I hope next time you catch me. Hook it up. Thanks.